What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you a review of the Nike Air Max 186 in this Jackie Robinson colorway. In what has become an annual celebration of the life and legacy of Jackie Robinson, not only for his contributions for the sport of baseball, but more importantly for society as a whole. For this year, Nike released this special edition version of the Nike Air Max 186. So these released on Jackie Robinson Day on April 15th, they retailed for a price of 150 US dollars or 190 here in Canada. As usual, this was a pretty limited release, and at least here in Canada, they sold out instantly. So the official colorway for this shoe is Midnight Navy, Obsidian, Sail, Metallic Gold, and Gum Medium Brown. And while the other colorways of the Air Max 186 have been mediocre at best when it comes to quality, this pair is a more elevated version of the silhouette, which I thought was fitting given what the shoe is celebrating and honoring. So jumping right into the details of this shoe, starting things off with a toe box, this is covered in this perforated leather, which unlike traditional Nike Air Max ones, they actually utilize genuine leather here, and to the touch it feels like a nubuck or like a flat suede. Surrounding the front toe cap, Unfortunately here they utilize a synthetic suede which has your typical felt like feel and this runs down the entire length of the shoe wrapping around the back as well. On the quarter panel and the U-throat we have this synthetic navy colored suede which also has that felt like feel to it and then the same thing with the swoosh however there is some unique embroidery on here which has a feather like graphic to it and this is found on swooshes on either side. For the top two eyelets this is plated in this metallic gold colored finish and then surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that perforated leather, the same that we saw on the toe box. Underneath this, we have more of that synthetic navy colored suede, and then we have Nike Air branding embroidered across the back in gold. Attached to the laces, we have this gold dubre or lace lock, and it features Jackie Robinson's iconic number 42, along with a Nike swoosh. And then as far as the laces go, so these come with two different lace options. The standard lace that they come with and the one that I prefer are these flat style laces in white. They are typical laces so they feel very soft, however they have these metallic lace tips as well which gives it more of an added premium touch. If you're not feeling the white laces and you want something a bit more tonal, they also come with a navy colored wax lace which also have these metallic lace tips too. Underneath this we have this mesh tongue but the sides of the tongue are covered in nylon. We have this strip running down the center and attached to it, we have this diamond shaped accent, which is a nod to the sport of baseball, and then we have the number 42 and the Nike swoosh, again embroidered in gold. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in a navy blue colored liner, and just like any other Air Max 186, these are pretty minimally padded. And then as far as the insoles go, so these come with their typical foam line insole, nothing special from a cushioning standpoint, however, stitched onto the heel, we have this tag which honors Jackie Robinson, which is a very nice added touch. So the upper of these shoes sits atop this chunky polyurethane foam midsole, which is painted entirely in white. We have an encapsulated air unit underneath the forefoot which isn't visible, and then underneath the heel, we have this large window exposing the big bubble air unit that's found within the midsole. And then as far as the outsole goes, this is your typical Air Max 1 outsole, however, in this case, it's done in a mix of gum rubber and navy blue colored rubber, but the traction pattern is the same. So we still have the same waffle style traction pattern on the forefoot and we have Nike Air branding along the heel of the outsole. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. And for those wondering about how these fit, so overall these do run relatively true to size. So for most people, whatever your actual measured foot size is, I'd go with that same size for this pair and you should be okay. In my case, I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. Not too loose, not too snug, and to give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 in the Air Max 1's, the typical 87 version, not the 86, along with recent Air Max 90's as well. And if you've never worn Air Max's before, if you've worn an Air Jordan 1 High, I also wear a size 10 in recent Air Jordan 1's as well. Moving on to the comfort, so while these are fine for an everyday casual use sneaker, they're not that comfortable, especially when you compare it to modern sneakers that have much more updated technology. So even though we have this large air unit, you honestly can't really feel it that much underfoot. It still has a relatively firm feel. It's not uncomfortable by any means, but if you're looking for something that's extremely plush and soft, you're not gonna get that with this shoe. However, like I said, for an everyday use sneaker, they're gonna be perfectly fine. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, in terms of material quality, I thought this was a step above a typical Air Max 186 Big Bubble, 
While those shoes entirely utilize synthetic materials, this shoe actually utilizes genuine leather around the toe and the ankle collar area. So this to me was definitely a step up, and I love the small touches like the gold duprés, the gold accents on the eyelets, and this 42 branding on the tongue. These small things really add up even though they're very minor, and it just makes the shoe feel a lot more special, which it should be. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, so this pair wasn't the best. In typical Nike fashion, there were a lot of long threads that I had to trim down myself. But other than that, I thought the paint job was decent, it wasn't perfect again. But there wasn't anything major, for example, like wrinkling on the toe box. Thankfully, this pair did not have any wrinkles. And I'll admit, that was probably my number one fear coming into buying this shoe. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. From a colorway standpoint, this is a beautiful looking sneaker. It has a very mature, very sophisticated vibe, which matches what this shoe is honoring. And I really think it does justice as a celebration of the life and legacy of Jackie Robinson. Is this gonna be an everyday sneaker? Definitely not. But coming from someone that's a fan of the Air Max 1, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Air Max 1 Big Bubble, I prefer the 87 version, like I said. But I think the colorway on this shoe, along with the extra touches all around it, really makes me appreciate this sneaker that much more. And I'm really happy to add this pair to my collection. So leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what do you guys think about this shoe. Were you lucky enough to grab these for retail? Did you take an L, strike out, no pun intended, and pick these up on the secondary market? Or you just weren't feeling them and this was a pass for you? As usual though, if you guys enjoyed this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on x at sean.gospeltout, and visit my website as well at seangoca So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, hopefully it helped you in some way, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.